Welcome back to the LinkedIn Tutorials. This session, this particular video is here to help you understand how to change, modify, customize your background image on LinkedIn. I'm Andrew Beach, Executive Career Coach. I help professionals communicate their value to find great opportunity faster. That's whether you're working or not through a branded networking process. LinkedIn is critical to that process and having a background image other than the default image you're seeing here on the screen is critically important. If you look at this, it's just a series of dots and lines. It really looks like a constellation or something that isn't very impressive to your audience. It does, and is valuable real estate. It's right there at the top of your profile. It's where a lot of people miss the opportunity to share some of their brand. They rely just on the headline here uh, in, in the top of the profile and their summary or what's known as the about section today. So in 2019, I'm not sure that that's good enough. So I, what I would encourage you to do is actually go into your profile. You'd go to me and view profile. That'll take you to your profile page where I am now. And up here at the header, you'll see a little stylus, a pencil, if you will, that will allow you to edit this header section. So let's go ahead and click that to edit the what they call the intro. It's the header of your profile. And then up here at the top, you can see there's another stylus or pencil that allows me to edit the background image. So when I click on that, it allows me to see that there's a size recommended. So when you're producing one of these images, make sure that you grab uh, these dimensions right here. I'll just copy those really quick so I don't forget. Then I want to head over to a service called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. It's kind of like Canvas without the S. Canva.com is a free tool, and that's what I like about it. It's free, and you don't have to pay for it, which is nice. It's a nice graphic design tool, and you can come in here, and yes, you can create a LinkedIn banner, but the LinkedIn banner, as you remember, is not the same size as 1584 by 396. So we want to create a custom image, not a LinkedIn banner. To do that, over on the right-hand side, you'll see custom dimensions. Let's go ahead and click on that. And yes, it exposes the fact that I can do a 1584 by 396. And we'll just go ahead and create a new design. That will open a brand new page that allows you to look at some templates. These Now, these are good. But remember, your profile photograph is in the left-hand side of your um, profile page. That means the left-hand side here is going to be covered up. So if we looked at this one here, this writing 101, all of that text would be covered up. These, yes, are good banners for, say, graphic design on a document or even the header of a web page, but not so much for LinkedIn. So what I encourage you to do is come over here to Elements, over here on the left, left-hand panel, and then click on Grids. Let's go ahead and see all. Now remember, that profile photo is on the left-hand side of this section, and even though these are showing squares, we want something where the bottom left is a square uh, but then we have different boxes that we can modify. Now, the nice thing about grids is that you can either put images in the grid or you can put a color. Either way, it, it kind of spices up that background image so that you can have something that displays something more consistent with your brand. So I'm going to scroll down here and see if I can find something that kind of matches what I'm interested in having on my profile. Something with maybe four boxes on the side. I think I like this one here. Yeah, that one looks really good. And you can see that it's now uh, got some buffering space here around that. You can change that spacing so that goes away. It's 10 pixels right now. So I will take that down to zero so that there's no grid spacing. And then in this section where my profile, I just want something behind it that's going to demonstrate who I am. And where you can find that information or an image that works for you is a website called Pixabay. Pixabay is also free, another reason to like it. And you can get stock images here. You don't have to uh, provide any kind of annotation. You can use them anywhere you like, royalty free. And so for me, I'm really into career navigation. And part of that is my interest in, uh, I don't know what it is about lighthouses, uh, but I like lighthouses and I want to see something with waves and maybe some clouds. Um, so let's go ahead and click search and see if I can find something that has waves. Oh, and I can filter by images 
that are photos. I don't like the vector graphics or the artistry that's on top of it. Uh, so here's a good one. Let's cloud sky ocean. I like that. So I'm going to download that image. Let's go ahead and do that now. And it'll show up in my downloads folder down at the bottom of Chrome here. And I can come back to my design and there's a little section here, a little cloud where you can upload. And I've already done that. So you just click upload and upload that image from your downloads folder. I'll go ahead and click that. It shows up right in my canvas here where I can actually slip it into any one of these little sections. I think you can see once I hover over it, it allows me to select one of those. Now, if I want to resize that image, I just double click the image and maybe I just want to make that a little bit bigger, right? Something like that so that uh, it, it's not too entirely recognizing that my profile photo is probably going to be right into the center left of that section and I'll just click done. See, now I know that somewhere in this area here will be my profile photo, okay? Now I can come over here and I can add color. So I can just pick one of these colors and, and click the next box and pick another color or another color. So you can put colors in here or images. It's really entirely up to you how you want to position that. Uh, you can download the images and just like this one here, you know, you can, uh, oops, sorry about that. Uh, you can actually drag it over to another section, put in another photograph, whatever that looks like. I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this session, uh, but I will put in uh, my logo, which I think is nice. Uh, just remember, this is also uh, a, an image. So if you want to move around your logo, I suggest using the arrow keys and just move it over to where you want it. I'm going to center it over in between some of these squares uh, because I want to have text inside those squares, but I also want my logo uh, to display on my background image. And it's just a very simple logo that follows my branding around lighthouses and career navigation and so forth. And so I'll just put that right here kind of in the middle uh, using the arrow keys. And then I'll add some text. Okay, over here on the left you have text. And I'm just going to say add a heading. That works perfectly fine for me. I want to maintain consistency with the font. And so I like yellow tail as a font. I'm just going to keep that consistent. And then I'll just have headings that kind of outline my areas of expertise, which are uh, career mapping and things of that nature. So I will go ahead and edit this uh, image. Uh, I'll spice it up a little bit and I'll be right back to you. Okay, I'm back. I did a little more gymnastics here and kind of spiced up the image with my logo and some other images. Uh, I think I should probably increase the size of this. It went back to that same size. Um, so I'll have something a little more dramatic in my profile. There we go. That's nice. So once we have this image the way we want it, we'll have to test it out in LinkedIn and make sure it fits the way we want it to. So I will go ahead and download here. It's up at the top right, a little download icon. It, it suggests the download a PNG, which I agree. Go ahead and download the PNG file. And, and so I'll click the download. And it's preparing your design. There we go. And then it downloaded into my downloads folder. And now I can go over. And, and Canva does have a paid service. It's not required that you take advantage of that. Uh, it is a wonderful service, but I tell you what, there's I can do 99% of what I need on the free service. Okay, so I'll come back here to my LinkedIn profile. I'll click the edit button and I'll click change photograph down at the bottom here. And once I click change photograph, I can select the image from my downloads folder, upload that to LinkedIn. Uh, you know, I can straighten or uh, deal with this however I like. Okay. Um, you know, there's things you can do to kind of make sure that it lines up with what you're trying to accomplish here. Um, so just recognize that you have a lot of flexibility in, in putting this the way you want it to. The nice thing is by using the recommended dimensions, you don't have to do any work. You take what's in Canva, you go ahead and put it on LinkedIn. Problem solved. So I'll go ahead and click apply. And then you'll see on my profile, this is what it looks like when I preview it. it. looks fine to me. I'll go ahead and click Save. And now that's how you update your background image. Best of luck in your search, whatever your opportunities you're seeking. Happy networking. I hope you enjoyed this session.